Good morning, Jan here, and welcome to today's forest bathing while self-isolating, where I take you out into my local woods every day and share with you the nature I see. After yesterday's biting wind, the wind has dropped, but it's still mighty cold. You see how many clothes I'm wearing? <laughs> and I'm still cold and my hands are freezing. I've come down to the Frogsbourne Pond to check how they're doing. They're nowhere to be seen at the moment. They're off somewhere having fun. <laughs> They were easier to see when they were all in one spot. <laughs> now I'm going to have to be more patient and wait for them to come past. As I arrived at the pond, I startled a deer. There was a doe. If she was down here, she must have been having a drink. I found her footprints right by the water where she's leaned down. And I was walking along, oblivious really, just listening to the birds, and suddenly poof, she was off right in front of me. It was a thrilling moment. I didn't capture it, of course. <laughs> a very beautiful moment. While I've been sitting here, watching the pond, I've been thinking about what I was talking about yesterday, about coming and sitting in the same spot and seeing the change of the seasons. And it's so delightful to watch those, um, those twigs that I brought home from the, the fallen tree. They're developing leaves now. And the catkins, the drooping flowers, have really changed just in a couple of days. And there's so much richness in nature if we have the patience to watch. And we can learn so much from nature about patience. <laughs> I mean, the plant world, by and large, can't move. Where it's landed, that's it, that's its lot. And it has to make the best of things. And so, unlike a bird or an animal, they can't, a tree, once it started growing in one spot, it can't think, mm, actually this wasn't such a good choice and up sticks and go somewhere else. They patiently stay where they are. And make the most of the advantages in that situation. In the dice that they've rolled. For example, many times in these videos I've said, I can't wait. I can't wait for the bluebells to be here. Oh, I can't wait for the leaves to be on the trees. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for that. Coming out every day and spending time in nature rather than walking through nature is such a different experience and it continually teaches me patience and loving what is here and now 
rather than what will be in a couple of weeks time. I keep having to relearn the lesson, obviously, because <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> but it's such a valuable lesson to learn. And we can all get so much more out of life if we love what's here. And find the opportunities in every situation, just like the trees here. getting a bit deep today, aren't I? Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're keeping well. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.